Hello, this is my Raspberry Pi powered uh, chess computer. Um, as you can see, I've not done much wiring or soldering, and if I can do it, anyone can do it. Uh, I'll sh take you through the components. This is a Raspberry Pi uh, 3. Obviously, if you're getting a new one, you might as well go for the 4. This is a TCA 9548A128 I2C multiplexer. All these components and the screen are connected through that and you can choose, uh, switch between them. These two are just small breadboards with the power. Uh, that's 3.3 volt, that's 5 volt. Uh, and a ground that's 3.3 volt and ground all along there uh, this is a HT16K33 LED matrix driver which uh, uh, controls the LEDs this is one of five MCP 23017 bi directional 16 bit IO expander. There's uh, one here, two, three, four, five. These four uh, are connected directly to the read switches. Uh, this one controls the buttons on the front. Uh, there's the LCD screen which has an I2C controller and it's controlled by these two cables with a uh, ground and a 5 volt uh, power. Uh, the, there's an amplifier here and a speaker because the Raspberry Pi uh, 3.5 jack isn't amplified. Uh, the um, reed switches are here, that black thing there, and they are vertical. I did have them flat, but they didn't work that well. So I would recommend getting your reed switches and trying them before you decide where they're going to be in the board. Um, mine are a bit of a mess because I did move them about. Uh, the, the LEDs are here and they're connected directly to the uh, controller. I would recommend using these um, I think they're DuPont 2.54 connectors and connecting in this way because you can always take them off easily and then once you've decided that they're correct you can just put a bit of hot glue on them to keep them in place and then you can still take them off quite easily. I would recommend using a different colour for the LEDs for each row I didn't so I've marked mine with uh, each wire with a bit of masking tape uh, and that's about it I think as I say if if I can do it and I did enjoy doing the hardware side I made uh, it looks like a bit of a rat's nest but I did enjoy it I was surprised that the Software was actually more difficult than the hardware. I thought it was going to be the other way around. So that's how I did it. Peace on and seeing when the read switch reacts the best. As I say, these are upright. Uh, these are vertical. And they work best that way. I did use these... Um, this type of reed switch and I would recommend getting the glass type although I 
because I'm a bit ham fisted, these um, uh, are less fragile. That's why I got them, but I would recommend using the glass ones if you can. Okay. Uh, this is the latest update on the board. Um, I've added a shutdown option. I still haven't done setup or load. If I push play, uh, these are saved now. So I should change that to SEC, shouldn't I? Seconds. Because I've got a minute. Um, whenever you change these and start a game, it saves it to um, disk or the SD card uh, in the same directory as the Python programs on it. And it's called board.cfg. It saves the level the time and if you're playing black and white and the player name um, between this menu and the game menu I'm going to have a thing where you can um, edit the player name so it's saved in the PGN file um, so if I push start Uh, D2 to D4. My move D7 to D5. Your move. G1 to F3. I move E7 to E6. Door moved. We want to see three. I move G8 to F6. Now I've changed the um, uh, when the computer makes a move. I've changed it so it lights the LEDs before it it tells you what the move is. Um, and I'm thinking I should change that back. E two to three. So it's it's. Lit the LED. My move is seven to six. And then it tells you the move. Door move. So I'm just going to do this just so you. F1 to B5. Let's check. Check. So that. My move is six takes on B five. Doesn't say A. Move. Doesn't say A very well. Uh, so I'm going to stop the program. Uh, and I'm going to the bit on computer move. But yeah, there's the thing. Make computer move.
Uh, no, that, that's where you actually make, make move the physical piece. This is where you set promotion, move type, player move. This is, this is to make the player move. The actual um, to put the pit, put the move into chessboard and deal with the promotion. This is computer move, so you can see down here play sound is after make computer move. So if I bring that down, cut and paste that and put it above. And then run that. Back on the play menu, I'll make, make that less, make it one second, push start, so it wants me to put all the pieces back, quickly do that, so put, so the computer should now tell you the move, then you make the move. D2 to D4. My move D7 to D5. So I prefer, I much prefer it that way around, I think. G1 to F3. My move C7 to C5. I don't know why I changed it, to be honest. Okay. Move. So that's where I'm at now. Um, there'll be a hardware section before this part. And I'll also put an upload to my Python chess code, which is all this here.